What's up? Salamat malam. It's the evening of uh, day one, so tomorrow's day two of the group stage of M4. We're here with the Valley's very own Hoon, and it's his first M series. Am I right? Yep. First, uh, I was supposed to be here for the M1, actually. Yeah, with, with, with Gosu. With Gosu, but I couldn't come because I fell asleep. I'm just kidding. But yeah, <laughs> I did fall asleep. Okay, but <laughs> long story short, really, did you fall asleep? I did. But that's not why we cannot, uh, why I didn't come. All um, right, so it literally happened, but there were other reasons. Other reasons, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. But All right. yeah, first series, first M series, Um, yeah, really excited. And then it's, co it's like a really cool experience how you can, you literally see the players that you saw on YouTube yeah. or like TV, just walking around and say hi. It's a really cool experience. That's amazing. I, I've been doing this for years. Again, uh, I've been to several M series. And remember, M3, right? Like we first met yeah. via like a video because uh, Paolo, right? Yeah. Paolo was the one who yeah. buzzed me. He's like, yo, can you say uh, hi to, to, to my friend who? And I was like, this name sounds familiar. And I looked up like, dude, it, it, it's, it's go soon, yeah. right? So um, again, every single time, every year. I think M2 really didn't feel it much. Because again, COVID, yeah, really, really yeah and, and, and pandemic stuff. But M3, dude, M3, same vibes. Like you go to the hallways, you have lunch, breakfast, dinner. Mm. All the players are there, right? Mm. Like, look at these amazing players, right? And now you're one of them. You're here. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. So how's it been so far? How long have you been in Indo? Uh, in Indo, we've been here for like almost three weeks so far. Almost, yeah, almost three weeks. It, uh, it feels like a month. Almost. For me, like I've been following you guys on social media. Like they've been there a while. We came here um, actually December 5th, so yeah, almost getting a month, yeah. Long How's time. it been so far? Um, I'd definitely say it was worth it to come here early because we got to experience all the different meta or the how, how people in Asia play or and then like connect to the culture, you know, like just exploring um, Indonesia in general. And the weather. Uh, yeah. The How's weather. the weather? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I'm sweating. In, it's hot. I live in <laughs> Vegas, which is really hot state in America. Ish city. You still get pretty breezy over there. It's really cold right now, so yeah. I kind of like the warm vibe here. And then we're mostly in the hotel, so I don't really feel it. Yeah, yeah not much. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you you brought it up, like the difference between Asia play, uh, Southeast Asia play specifically, and uh, you guys over there in NA. And I don't know. It's no secret to you. I'm sure you you check the comments and you partake in the community discussions. Mm -hmm. Dude, the Valley is on a league of its own in NA. Like, you guys are just nothing. Do you agree? Like, there, nobody comes close to the Valley. Ooh. I, I, yeah, maybe now I can say that. But back in when we were in NA, there were, like, somewhat more competitions than people actually expected. Also, you guys leveled up now. Yeah. Um, ever since the BTK did so well in M3, people really got motivated to play again. Like, they actually wanted to, like be like BTK, right? So I think there were a lot of players that like gave a lot of like commitment to the game. Okay, so how did that happen? Tell us a story because again, it was a sad day when, when we all learned and officially that BTK wasn't together anymore. And here comes this team, the Valley, which looks like the NA super team, right? Like you have a Filipino gold laner, uh, you have uh, an OG in mid, right? Like you've been here for years, you've been doing this for a long time. And then you have what remains of BTK. So how did that happen? How did you guys form the Valley? Well, at first it was just like, um, this whole idea of BTK wasn't really a thing, but then um, we had actually a team Valley team without Zane and Chicken. Hmm. We, we had a team without Zane and Chicken. So Shark, Hoon, uh, Basic, Basic, and then two others. Hmm, I see. Yeah, but then, and then at the time, Chicken and Zane were in Indonesia, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they, they had like a, a BTK revival tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they made party. a stop to the Philippines too. <laughs> yeah, they did, they did. So, but then, um, yeah, we, we were playing a lot and then we really thought we needed like a actually experienced um, jungler and teammate uh, that could actually hold us together to the M4. So this is the Valley prototype like you guys prototype, yeah. yeah you guys needed yeah. a little more needed a more more but yeah. you said but jungler so what about xp lane how was your xp lane at the time um yeah we had a discussion about it too but then we all know chicken and zane is like a package 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, so you're going to get Zayn. How about Chicken? Just comes along, right? Yeah. And then Chicken's a great player, too. So why not? And then they have synergy. They have uh, experience. And then, yeah, we approach to them. And then we talk about it. Then we try, we, it happened, you know. So who approached them? Who, who, who messaged them? Was it like as a group um, or did someone reach out? It was just mainly basic. Yeah, basic kind of like just went everywhere to like talk to people. So basic is like Nick Fury. Pretty he, much. He assembled the NA he Avengers. Assembled, hey, I'll, I'll say so, you know. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, pretty much. What does that make you if you're an Avenger and, you know, NA, the Valley is, 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 is a superhero team? Who are you? Mm. Doctor Strange. <laughs> of course, a mage, of course. <laughs> okay, that brings us to your mid lane matchups. Uh, one of my first conversations with Hoon, uh, let me just share with the folks here, uh, was talking about like, who are your favorite uh, mages, right? Or, or mid players in, in Southeast Asia. And you answered very specifically, right? I did. Correct me if I'm wrong, you said Sanji. I did. Yeah, well, what did you like about Sanji? Um, just, just the way he plays, the way he connect, syncs with his tank. It's like really great, and then I can like whenever I do the matchups in the mid lane, I can I can see if that person's like really good or not, right? You can tell like oh, he, I can I can predict that this person's gonna do this, mm -hmm. but he yeah. doesn't. Yeah, you can I, test him like yeah, yeah, like oh, it's so obvious you're gonna do this, but he doesn't do that. Not Sanji. Not Sanji. I see. Too smart. Okay, so I wanna ask you what's hmm, what's the right word? Uh, okay. What motivates you, the challenge or the fear of, fear of failure? Like in your lane, what would you rather do? Like to be better than your matchup mm. or to not mess it up? <sighs> That's a really tough question because yeah. um, I think it's really situational. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a time that I can actually like challenge, that I have to challenge myself in order to win. And there's a time that I just do not need to do anything. When and my just, team is just winning. Yeah, let or, them do it. Yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah. like Xavier on the turret. Oh, yeah. Like, I shouldn't just flicker and make a play, you know? Mm -hmm. I should be very passive and then farm for late game. Yeah. And then, yeah, try to carry the late game, right? So okay. there's, I think it's really situational. And then that's what makes a player a good player or a bad player. When you they, know the difference. Yeah, they know when to do it. Okay. Pretty much. So let's say regardless of matchup, regardless of heroes, what challenges you more? Someone who's mechanically gifted or someone who works well with their team? Definitely the second one. No matter how good you are in the mechanically, like if your team's not synced, you're not going to beat the yeah. greatest teams. Yeah, it's always all about the, yeah. the team. It's like all-star team games, right? You, you can pick a best player in each team, mm -hmm. former team. They're not going to be the best team. There's always like a, the synergy that is... Um, before mechanics, I think. Yeah, and again, this is coming from years of experience in the MOBA space, right? Right, right. Yeah, so let, let's go way back. Uh, before Mobile Legends, before all this, have you been a gamer all your life? Oh yeah, I, I've, I've always loved games. Um, started with League of Legends. You see? I started yeah. StarCraft when I was really young. StarCraft? Yeah. All right, Look, just so, so folks know, uh, you now, uh, reside in in vegas uh where's your family from uh korea south korea south korea uh what, what's it what, what, what city what city uh seoul seoul yeah of course starcraft yeah for sure <laughs> okay well, what did you play starcraft uh what, what what uh the race yeah oh protos is that how you say it protos, protos. protos. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like the the, the faithless void yeah <laughs> Mage looking guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. always loved mage. I Whenever mean, I play RPG, I play mage. That's the thing. Yeah, it's just I'm hooked at the fact that you can just stay back, relax, and mm. just throw skills. Spells. Just yeah, I always, I always got fascinated by those ideas. Ever since you were young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Starcraft, LOL, uh, and then uh, single player games. You found. Of course. AOV, Mobile Legend, Wild Rift, all kind of MOBA games that I can get my hands onto, you know? Uh-huh. And then now you're, you're back where you uh, started? Back Pretty where? Much. Back to my, you know, just... Does this, this, is, does this feel like a homecoming? Coming to the M series? Because again, <laughs> you missed out, right? You missed out in 2019. I really did. Yeah. I really did. What's the difference between the world of ML Esports then and now? I think it's just way more recognized and then way more organized, you know? 
if it was just a friends playing for fun and then somehow got lucky to be in the place if, it, if that was an M1 I think this is more professional more more dedicated people gathered up together to win not for experience just to like you know have fun but to win you know to achieve something to achieve something yeah yeah speaking of achieving something uh, we're about to wrap up our conversation here say the valley wins all right mm. last year and it came close right last year third place dude that's ridiculous nobody expected that yeah. so let's say put your put your head in this space what if hoon basic zane chicken and shark win what do you think is going to happen Ooh. i think it's gonna it's gonna be a game changer for our region at least I'm not sure. I don't think nothing's gonna change in other region, but at least for our region that we represent, NA specifically, which is kind of been a meme region. I think it's gonna be a huge change. A lot of players gonna jump into the scene knowing that they could also do, do the same, and then they will be really proud and then they'll be really motivated. Mm -hmm. Like and then, hopefully MPL NA. Hopefully, hopefully everybody everybody's been asking MPL NA when right. But that's, that's for the scene, that's for your team, and that's for mm -hmm. the region. How about for you? What, what's going to happen? What are you going to do? Uh, for me, um, uh, world champion. World champion. <laughs> I, I really want to go to Philippines. Uh -huh. and then push it, push it. Just keep going. Just, yeah, just do contents with the greatest players and then just connect with the with their culture and all that. Yeah, one of the I, I biggest wanna, communities, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I wanna um, uh, explore outside of any, pretty much, when I become a champion and then just, yeah. I, I don't know, it's, <laughs> I haven't thought about it actually. Yeah, no. yeah maybe but, but, I should <laughs> think, of, think about it more deeply. Yeah, know? but no, here's the thing. You don't have to think about it because the road to that championship starts tomorrow. That's true. Yeah, you got matches going on tomorrow, so it's real quick. It's up to us now. Yeah, no, it's up to us. So, uh, What's a message that you have for your fans all around the world? Because uh, mm. tomorrow, the Valley starts playing. It's a group stage, best of ones. Uh, go ahead. Um, uh, I know it's my first time in the M series, but please, um, even if I mess up, don't, don't trash talk <laughs> me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty confident that we're going to do well. And then please keep supporting us and then We'll play our best for NA All right. and for our fans. Lovely. So that's Hoon of the Valley. Tomorrow, there'll be an action. Check it out. Day two of the group stage, M4. There to be great. For now, we're going to go ahead, call it a night. Salamat malam. Peace out.